week, and they have been very, very popular since we kicked them off on Sunday's Cookbook Corner. These are two books by our friend Bob Warden, who many of you have cooked with and enjoyed watching for so many years on QVC. One of them is a book all about pressure cooking. It's called Great Food Fast. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pressure cookers sold on QVC. Now you've got an entire book dedicated just to pressure cooking. And then if you're a big fan of the slow cooker in this time of year, who isn't? There's an entire book of slow cooker recipes. Both books combined, you you over 255 recipes. Let's bring in Bob Warden and get busy eating. How are you, sir? Okay. Nice to see you. I will tell you, our audience has already sampled your autumn chili and they have also sampled your s'more bread pudding. Okay, could we show the. Oh. Right? Yeah. Really good. And so, what? I'm sorry? Well, we did this because we wanted people to have two gifts. So, if you already own Great Food Fast, right. you already own my favorite slow cooker recipes and you love them, then get some for your friends. Because we've been waiting a long time for this, haven't we? We have indeed. In fact, already over 600 book sets are gone in this show. And that brings us to over 12,000 since it debuted on Sunday. Now, Bob, so many of our foodies own the ninjas. And they own these because one of the functions is slow cooking. Right. So, anybody, these books are for anyone who has a slow cooker, a crock pot, a Ninja 4 in 1, a Ninja 3 in 1, any of the pressure cookers that we've sold on QVC. I'd say 99% of them, all the Cook's Essentials technique, all are also slow cookers. So, they're pressure cookers and slow cookers. So, now you have two books, really almost. That's a pretty good deal, right? I would say yeah. so, yes. And, and every one of these recipes was created with love, with attention to detail, and they were all made to be just a little different, a little twist on your favorite recipe. So even the pot roast are just a little more flavorful. Right. You know? And so everything is a little different. In fact, we can start all right, off let's with get into some different. of this autumn chili. Now, our audience, audience, you had this autumn chili a little earlier. Nice savory chili with a little pumpkin mixed in. Yes. Now, the other thing you can do with this, if, this time of year, and we didn't do this on Sunday, but you can actually take a little middle maple syrup, put it on one half of it there, oh. and you can try it both ways. There you go. So the and this is a turkey chili, isn't it? Yes. So the idea okay. is we're going to take the fall pumpkin spices, right? Mm. And it makes a savory chili. Mm. Do you think it's going to be sweet? But it's not sweet, is it? Yeah. And How it's good not was it? Pretty good, huh? I will tell you also, this isn't just a really delicious chili. It's not, to your point, not too sweet. And it's also not too spicy. It's a beautiful, even, even blend. So I think you're going to be really excited about this. And you know what? That maple syrup is delicious on there. It is. It now, is quite nice. Now, that's a slow cooker recipe. Now we're going to move to what is a, a pressure cooker recipe. Did you know that you can do bread puddings, rice, and so forth in a pressure cooker? Well, I didn't you know can. that. Yeah. So this is a recipe you can do either in the slow cooker or the pressure cooker. And I want David I to taste here. it. Now, this is unique in that the way we made this is it's called a s'more bread pudding. Because what goes into s'mores? Marshmallow. Right, exactly. Chocolate. Chocolate. And, and what else? Oh, <laughs> look at this. Yeah, let's add a little caramel sauce. What Why the not? Heck? Here we go. Now, this is s'more bread pudding. And this cooks how fast in the. 15 uh, minutes. 15 minutes in the pressure cooker. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Good morning. That's amazing. I believe you just might get the second happy dance of the show. Happy dance, happy dance. Y'all got to get after this. That is amazing, you guys. I think we should have the first audience happy dance. Well, you know what? We may have to do that before it's all said and done. Practice up, limber up, do your stretches. All right, now, we also want to let you know in the pressure cooker, Bob loves this recipe so much that he put it on the cover of Great Food Fast. This is his perfect pot roast. And check this out. <clears throat> when I was growing up, mom made pot roast a lot for Sunday dinner. It took her four hours to get it fall apart tender. Check this out. Now, Bob, this pot roast cooks for how long? This one cooked for about 90 minutes because it's thick. See how thick this is? If you have it like a one inch thick, you can cook it for as little as 50 minutes. So it all depends on the thickness. But look at this. Oh, 90 wow. minutes. It didn't take three to five hours. It has look how all tender of that, that is, you guys. Wonderful moisture. And it's the moisture that you get. How many of you have a pressure cooker out there? Oh, good for okay, you. Okay, a little over half of you. So, okay. so, so you know that the difference in pressure cooking is speed, but also flavor and moisture, right? I'm sorry. The only thing missing here is a big old dinner roll to sop up all that big, thick, savory beef gravy, right? Oh, my word. And serve that with mashed potatoes or the vegetables you put inside. Is there a fork close by? Yes, there oh, is. Oh, here it is. I got it. Come on. Come on. Get it. There we go. Pot roast. Pot roast. Here we go. Aha! 
so good. Mm. You guys, may I show you real quickly the book? Look at the gorgeous color photos. Bob gives you a shopping list that you'll need so that you can. And, and you know what? If you don't have a chance to grab this book and take it with you to store, you know what I do sometimes? I get my smartphone and I'll take a picture of a recipe. And then I'll go to the store and I'll just use my smartphone because I never am not without my smartphone. That's the smart David. So there you go. You take a picture of your shopping list and then you grab everything you need at the store. Beautiful color photos. There's a pot roast. All the different things in here. Bob, is the lasagna in this book? The lasagna is in that book. That's one of your popular ones. And there's also another lasagna in this book. And this is the slow cooker book. So gorgeous uh, pictures in the slow cooker book as well, laid out in a very similar fashion. Look at this. This is uh, savory snack mix, perfect for the holidays. All kinds of soups and great, great dishes. Just wonderful. This is the slow cooker book. You're getting this and the pressure cooking book, and you're getting it all for $19.98. We're very busy on our phone lines. Bob, real quickly, we'll talk about our ribs. Now, these are what I call the kiss the cook ribs. How many of you like to be kissed for cooking? Yeah, well, okay. this, this will get the job done. So I've already pulled some off the bone for, here, for you here, David. I want you to take a taste of those okay, because they are absolutely delicious. These are ribs that can be done in 15 minutes in mm. the pressure cooker. Bob, those are great. Or using a slow cooker recipe, you can cook them all day long. Well, Bob, we are all out of time, but I'll encourage everyone to stay on the line. It's a wall supplies last price of $19.98 for both books. How many gone now, Gabe? 2,000 in this show. 14,000 for the week. So, this is an extraordinary number. Stay on the line for these, Bob. It's always a pleasure, sir. Thanks, nice Dave. to have you back. We've got time for 